Soul Jades play a very important part of Nareka's gameplay. It's crucial to understand as much as possible about them to stay on top of all the possible situations. Hi, it's Araldos, and today I'll uncover 10 secrets about Soul Jades that you have to know to use them at max potential. Alright, let's start with a crazy one. Stanchion, Sky Pillar. I don't know if this is a bug or if it is intended, but if you have this jade and you get on your staff, all the standard range attacks are gonna be completely blocked automatically. Just like if you were doing light attacks all the time. And yes, it even works for the Ballista. Did you know that Mortal Defiance worked on Feria and the Transformers too? After some testing, we actually didn't find a single situation where Mortal Defiance doesn't activate. Mortal Defiance can save you from the zone and also activates after the zipping V2 ultimate, making the best last resort possible. And if you are lucky enough, stacking this jade multiple times will save you multiple times in a row. Don't pass out on Mortal Defiance, it's probably the best jade right now. Okay, here is an obvious but very important one. Most golden soul jades and some purple have a special animation and sound effect to warn you of what's coming. People will usually be more cautious once they see this soul jade animation, but will also more often than not try to parry this special attack. Keep in mind that this animation also helps hiding which attack you're actually charging, horizontal or vertical. You can use this to your advantage to surprise your enemy. On the other side, some golden soldiers don't have any animation or sound effect to tell you what's coming. For example, we have Dragon-like Might, Merciless Havoc, Razor Swift, Heptad Attach, Overcomer, and all the ranged weapons soldiers. Soul Release gives you back your F cooldown after you get a kill. It's widely known that it can also give you back some ultimate usage where you have to press F during ultimate, like Takeda V3 and Valda V2 for example. But the interesting thing is that it also works on Transformers and Valda V1. Huh? Special mention to Yoto F1 who makes zero use of this jade since it already has this mechanic built in. Skyforce is a very strong jade to fight non-stop and to make 1v2s easier. You should know that it doesn't work for Yeshan and Tianhai during transformation, but did you know that it still worked for Feria in her robot and Valda V2 ultimate? Since you can see their shield under the new HP bar, it can actually be healed. If we apply the same logic for Desperation, this is what we get. Desperation gives 30% more damage when your HP bar is under 50%. Everyone has an HP bar, even during ultimate. So that means that every character can benefit from it during ultimate. Valda V2 and Feria's robots have to be activated with less than 50% HP, and the Transformers have to get down under 50% HP during ultimate to have the effect activate. This jade is very strong when used properly. Group heal is a great jade for team play, and just like the jades before, the same rules apply. If your shield bar or HP bar is visible, it can be healed with group heal. So the transformers can get their HP healed, and Valda V2 and the Feria robot can get HP and shield healed this way. Group heal gets to another level once you have the soul jade advanced heal. By default, group heal reduces healing by 30%, but once you have advanced heal, this debuff doesn't exist anymore. Okay, now for the range weapon side, we also have very interesting stuff for pistols and cannon. So for pistols, when you're using detonating round, you can actually switch weapons before the explosion, and the damage would scale with this new weapon, giving you damage buff if you have a weak pistol. Thundercall is supposed to boost charge attack damage by 10% and double the explosion size. 
but it also boosts the non-charged shots by 20% of damage. And for the cannon, so much stuff is not written on the Jade's descriptions, it's crazy. Rupture Gill Orb reduces damage by 35%. Flame Breath also reduces damage by 35%, but the burn effect with no cooldown is so much better than raw damage. Now Bound Shell is a weird one, it's probably the best. Uh, Bound Shell is a lot better than you could imagine at first. It becomes so much easier to hit your target, because even if you shoot next to them, it will still explode. And you also get 12% damage increase to close the deal. The Bound Shell hitbox makes Rup to Gale Orb completely useless, so always choose Bound Shell over Rup to Gale Orb. Some melee soul jades can change the properties of move to make them combo starter. Here's a short list of what I found. Blue Moon, Soul Slash, and Thunderstorm. And now we have one of the strongest jades to finish this video, Phantom Step. Phantom Step lets you escape Viper Ultimate just by dodging pretty easily at the end of the timer. But if they're using Viper V2 or V3, you can actually press F or V after dodging right in her face, because breaking line of sight by dodging also removes the silence. As a bonus, Phantom Step can be made even better if you have the Soul Jade Wave Roll. You now have access to unlimited invincibility just by rolling again and again. Wave Roll can also be good if you play as the Viper, because it will give you extra mobility during her V1 and V2 ultimates. Just have to dodge and then roll, dodge again and then roll. All your rolls will use no stamina, so you have almost double the mobility. Alright, that's the end of the video. Tell me if I forgot anything big or if you have any secrets about Soul Jade. I'd love to read some interesting stuff. Thanks for watching, come see me on Twitch as I stream now almost every day and see you soon, bye bye.